Roger Scholey, former reporter with the San Diego Union Tribune, here, here with Peter Jens, Jensen, the famous and uh, very likable sage of San Diego, also a journalist, written for various uh, publications. But here we're speaking about his work on the Reader uh, newspaper and his articles in the 1990s. And the one that caught my eye was about Russell Forrester, the architect of Jack in the Box. So who was Russell Forrester and how in the world did he get involved in designing Jack in the Box restaurants? Well, he was, uh, uh, you know, Peterson, uh, Bob a Peterson. fellow named Bob Peterson at, yeah. at Oscar's drive-ins. And they were, uh, to my knowledge, I didn't live here, they were popular. And I know that, that when my f parents took my sister and I on a vacation, Mm -hmm. down here to San Diego to stay at uh, out on Shelter Island uh, in a tiki-themed hotel. It's going to be a big deal, you know, for this vacation. And uh, and we had to go to Oscars, you mm -hmm. know. And be it, But I think Peterson, you know, was a genius in terms of the whole fast food world and that, you know, you weren't going to just roll your window down halfway and have someone on roller skates put a tray on the glass of your window and bring it to you, which was pretty darn cool in itself. But why not just have a box where you drove around the box and you just drove up to a window, slid open, they handed you the food, and you were on your way. I mean, time is, uh, time is short in this life that is now completely centered on the automobile and getting somewhere quickly and and spilling, you know, parts of your hamburger in your lap as you're driving down the freeway or something. Um, but thank God for Russell Forrester because, you know, he had he brought this sort of modernist bent to uh, creating um, this multicolored box that uh, was just kind of wild. And, and I think it's wonderful. I mean, I'm sure people think I'm crazy, but uh, they don't look the same as when he designed them today. Um, they definitely tone things down. So one of the early ones is pictured in the story with a truly a jack-in-the-box boinging out of the top of it. Uh, but it, it was a wonderful opportunity to go interview Mr. Forrester at his house in La Jolla and to see uh, all the other elements of his incredibly sophisticated uh, talents in architecture and fine art and... Uh, I hope that he's. I hope that he's better recognized uh, in the future. Uh, I know he will be. And I mean, history will shine on on him in terms of really a great sort of modernist innovator here in San Diego. So, do you think his? Uh, we do have a number of artists, architects in San Diego lore, you know, and I guess you could say the others are known for all kinds of developments. But the thing that is living long after Russell Forrester will be his jack-in-the-box. It's, it's remarkable. You can be known for all kinds of crazy things in your life, but when you look at jack-in-the-box, think of Russell Forrester. He wasn't embarrassed by them at all. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was proud, you know, like I think anyone would be, to create something that was shockingly new. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what a great fellow he was. Thank you very much. Thank you.